is now underway on one side here with a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep it upright. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this challenge. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Single collar tie here. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. So both guys landing at will here. Good action, Earl. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Back to the stand up now, both fighters upright. Ooh, big shot land. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Again, he's looking for that left, it's not there. Head kick. Back to the jab now, no good. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And he landed the right hand there. Joy gets hit with a kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh! That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Pretty good right hand. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. I mean, how many can he take? Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Sound strike on the ground. All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine. They have the arm bar. They have the kimuras. They have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. Flush right hand is true. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, collar tie. Looking to land the right just out of range. to avoid the right. Swing and a miss with that punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Now, oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates the high punch, taking taken for right. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be troubled defensively. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. We got him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Nice punch there. Way to hide that leg kick. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Well, 
what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round, round one, two. champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. There's the jab, then another. Misses again with a right punch. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Punch there by Chor. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Boom! Big jab. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Ooh, head kick landing. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Beautiful strike. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Three minutes to go. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Visibly limping here. Big kick land. Ooh. Watch the shot. And he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by the Korean Super Bowl. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, a little single collar tie there. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Sometimes DC it can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge and reach. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, single collar tie now. Nice. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more with that game. Boxing, boxing, boxing. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Doubles up on the jab. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice punch land over the top. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. 
punch over the top. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, nice straight punch there by Choi. Guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you got to be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture. But if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. Here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect the body to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Oh, huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice punch by the Korean Super Bowl. He's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Got the single collar tie. The Korean Superboy gets caught by that straight punch. You got to do better than that defensively. Oh, big punch lands. Another punch to the head. Oh, the Superman punch lands. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Straight right hand now just misses. Nice head kick. Nice combination there. What a punch. They continue to exchange. Three minutes remain in the round. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, great combination. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Wow! He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it, John, stop it. <laughs> oh, and he lands yet another knee. And yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. Both guys landed big shots. Big leg kick land. Choi gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, he goes to the counter right just out of range. Beautiful 
beautiful leg kick thrown. Oh, beautiful. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, big left. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Right hand punches the clinch. Oh, big left hook there. Oh! Oh, he gets up. The question is for how long? His misses are entertaining. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. And just like that, the fight is over. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotta is going to stop in this contest at 4 minutes, 47 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean